part of covenant is not just giving, but it's receiving. That goes both ways. If we don't receive the love of God, like Nathan said, when he comes in the room, if we don't respond, if we don't receive him, we have to learn to receive. So many times we know how to do, do, do. We're the Marthas. We know how to do, 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 do. We know how to serve. Let me put my hand to something. Let me put my hand to something. But there's always a time you put your hand to something, but then there's always a time you have to sit and receive as well. And so, Lord, give us the wherewithal to be able to receive, not be too proud to receive. We have to learn to receive. That didn't just mean from God. That means from others. Because most of the time we'll say, well, I'll receive from God, but I don't want to receive from you. Come on. How many times have you said that? I'm going to follow God, not you. I'm going to receive from him, not you. But the word says, how can you love a God who you have not seen when you can't love your brother who you have seen? How can you serve a God who you cannot see when you can't serve your brother who you do see? How can you receive from a God you cannot see when you can't receive from a person in front of you that you can see? Hmm. It's a heart posture, exactly what she said. Because the person speaking to you may have not be from the right heart, and that's okay. That doesn't mean you have you can eat the hay and leave the stubble. You can honor the gift of God that they are and push aside where they're emotionally entangled and speaking from. See, that's maturity. That's maturity in the body. That's maturity in us as Christians. That I can honor the gift you are. Because you're a facet of God. Did you know that? Does everybody in here know that you're a piece of God? See, that's the mercy of God. It's that we were birthed from his chesed. That's the Hebrew word for mercy. We were literally birthed out of his mercy. That's what seals the covenant. And I'm going to teach on covenant today. So I want you to be ready to receive. But I want you to be open in your heart, even through worship, so that he already begins to flow in here. Did you know that the word says that he comes in to complete us, but we also complete him when we worship because we become like him. Amen.